is there a particular psychotherapeutic approach that uh, you like to use yourself? Well, I'm very drawn to the uh, visual chair work, as we've talked about before, and the experiential techniques. Um, I use schema mode therapy, which I like to see people in terms of parts, and of course I use relapse prevention and substance use management. So I kind of have a series of techniques for dealing with the pain, a series of techniques for dealing with the drug use, and a series of techniques for dealing with the motivation, which to me is really where it, the foundation, you know, the part that wants to use, the part that doesn't want to use, really getting those parts engaged. To me, that's, that's the, really the first work. It's always the most important work. Once that gets somewhat resolved, then you can build and you can take action. Until you get those forces sorted out, if you go too fast for action, it just doesn't work. So I guess I'm a collective or integrated. Is. Chair work, is that the same as psychodrama? So chair work came out of psychodrama, which was invented by Moreno, but it was made famous by Fritz Perls, who really took it to, in turn, to do an amazing art form. And it's most associated with Perls at this point. So um, I would say it's a gestalt technique, now been, actually been adopted by many people from almost every psychotherapeutic perspective. But I would say Pearls is kind of the one most associated with uh, uh, chair work. I think the psycho the psychodrama people have taken it back a little bit because they've seen how powerful it is for the Gestalt people. Some of the Jungians actually have taken it as well. So it's a fantastic way of working.